Hello guys, welcome back to question seven of the GCE math panel. This paper is on June 2018. That's GC Advanced Level Paper 2, Mechanics and Statistics, question seven. Guys, please, if you have not subscribed to this channel, you are not doing yourself any good because there are most of our videos that you'll not be able to see because you are not subscribed. Don't ask me why, you will find out when you subscribe. So this question reads, find the coordinates of the center and the length of the radius of the circle x squared plus y squared minus 3x minus 4 equals zero and show that the line 3x plus 4y minus 17 equals zero is a tangent to the circle. Sub two, m is a three by three matrix given by m equals that. Given that m is a singular matrix, show that 3x squared minus 2x minus 36 equals zero. So guys, to tackle this question, first of all, I'd like to throw highlights on you. You can join us for GCE preparation online by going to www.gcemathpanels.com. If you click on join, you'll see the different WhatsApp groups for all level and A level where you can join us. And secondly, our free lessons to prepare for the GCE always begins at the end of August every year and runs to June. So all those who are always joining us very late, you are the ones who are always the losers, okay? So we actually have these preparations, not just for mathematics, but for all other subjects, which if you need to get some time, those subjects start running. Please subscribe to this channel and share this video to the different WhatsApp, Facebook, and all other social panels and forum forums where you find yourself. And may God bless you as you prepare for your exams. Let's start by tackling question one. To have a complete solution of this video, click on the link in the description below and you have from questions one to 10, or you click on the link somewhere around the screen and you have the complete uh, video link. So here, this is the circle we are given. We have to find the center. So from here, using the general equation of the circle, uh, x squared plus y squared plus two gx plus two fy plus c equals zero. This will imply that um, our 2g is equal to minus 3, and that gives us g to be equal to minus 3 on 2, and 2f equals 0 because there's no y here. So uh, f is equal to 0. Therefore, the center of this circle is negative g, negative f, which will be 3 on 2, 0. Now, for the radius, the radius is given by g squared plus f squared minus c, where our c here is minus 4. So we have uh, 3 on 2 squared plus 0 squared minus minus 4, which is uh, root 25 on 4, and that gives us 5 on 2. That's the radius. Now, for us to show that the line 3x plus 4y minus 17 is a tangent to this circle, is to look for the distance from the center of the circle to this line, the perpendicular distance from the center of the circle to this line. If that perpendicular distance from the center of the circle to that line is equal, is this having the same value of the radius of the circle, then that line is a tangent to, a circle, to this circle. Notice that the tangent is a line that touches a circle at one and only one point, and the distance from the center of the circle to the point where the line touches the circle is always equal to the radius. So that is the idea we use to show that the line is a tangent to a circle. So from a perpendicular distance from a point from a line, of a point from a line is given by ax1 plus by1 plus c, all that on root a squared plus b squared. Where this x1 and y1 are the coordinates of the point where we are calculating the dis distance from the uh, tangent. That's the perpendicular distance from these points to this tangent or line. So uh, that will give us 3 into 3 on 2, where 3 on 2 is the x value of the center, plus 4 into 0. 0 is the y value of the center minus 17. All these ones are the coefficients of x and y for this line, 3 squared plus 4 squared. So this gives us minus 25 on 2 divided by 5, which is equal to uh, absolute value of minus 5 on 2, which is plus 5 on 2. And this value is equal to the radius, right? Because this radius is equal to 5 on 2. From here, we start this perpendicular distance from the center of the circle to the tangent is equal to the radius. And therefore, that line is a tangent to this circle. Guys, don't forget to subscribe and we want to inform you that most of our videos are not on YouTube. So to have the complete solution for all of these videos which you are watching now, this is just question seven. So have questions one to six and questions eight, nine, and 10. Click on the link somewhere around this video on the screen, or you click on the link in the description below this video and it will take you to the page where all the corrections are there. From there, you can equally have tutorials on various subjects for the GC in which you are preparing. 
Don't forget to join us and you will not regret it. We equally just beg you to share this video to different social media platforms. So sub two, if M is a three by three matrix and it's singular, a singular matrix means the determinant is equal to zero. So we are just going to calculate the determinant here and equate it to zero. So uh, we are going to use the cover of a row and column method. So we have three, we suppress this row and this column. So we have X plus two, one, uh, four minus uh, four X minus four. Now minus four, second position has to be negative. Minus four, we suppress this row and column. We have one, one, two X minus four, X minus four. And then this last one is just zero. So it's going to give us equal to zero because the matrix is singular. You can equally have a, a lot, so many lessons on matrices by going to our YouTube channel page. You will have lessons on these matrices which you have treated in details and you will enjoy it. Or if you look at past other past questions which you have treated, you will have a lot of lessons too on matrices and you will actually be very happy with that. All right, so here this will give us three into x plus two, x minus four minus four, minus four into x minus four minus two x minus four equals zero. So this will give us three into x squared minus two x minus 12, and uh, minus four into minus x to the equal to zero. And opening and bringing light terms together will give us three x squared minus six x minus 36 plus four x equals zero which finally gives three X squared minus two X minus six equals zero as required. So guys, we are waiting for you in question eight. Just click on the link in the description below this video on, on somewhere around the screen and it will take you to question eight. We will meet there and continue. Stay blessed and may God bless you as we prepare for the GCE. Bye-bye.